Hello children, we will continue with the chapter, chapter 3, trip to Bhopal. So they reached the place Bimbetka, right? So Bimbetka is a place with lots of caves and cave paintings, you can see here. Okay, many caves are there, many cave paintings are there. So here you can see one painting, the children started talking about that painting. Okay, so one by told, you can see in this picture, many bisons, many deers and many peoples are there. Hmm? So one boy told, I will count the number of bisons. One girl told, she will count deer and another boy will count number of people. So they started counting. This boy got 37 bisons after counting. And this girl counted till 117 deer. She got 117 deers from that painting. So the question is for you, how many more deers are there than bisons? How many more deer are there than bisons? So what you have to do is, you have to subtract both number that is number of deer that you can see from the picture how many deers are there 117 deers are there so 117 number of bison how many bisons are there 37 bisons are there so 37 what you have to do is subtract 117 minus 37 was the answer 8 okay so that question is over now comes the next one more question you can see but Bonaval is the happiest because the number of people is even more than the number of deer and bisons together. Number of people is more than the number of deer and bisons together. Together means you have to add both. So number of bisons plus number of deer is 154. So number of people is more than this. And less than 200. Her count is less than 200. So less than 200. So this number is between 154 and 200. Four options are here. What will be the answer? A number lying between 154 and 200. Which number is that? Yes, 177. Okay. Yes. Now comes the next question. So it's lunch time. Children started eating lunch. So uh, biscuits, oranges, bananas are all distributed in that place. So to each child is to be given one orange, one banana and five biscuits. Okay, so how many children are there in total? In the beginning we told how many children are there? 210 children are there, right, total. Each child is to be given one orange. So how many oranges are given? 210. One banana. So how many bananas will be there? That is also 200. And five biscuits. So each child will get five biscuits. Now comes one more. Hint in that. That is all the children take oranges and biscuits. But 38 children do not take bananas. So all children take oranges and biscuits but 30 children do not take bananas. Now the question for you, how many oranges, biscuits and bananas are distributed? Are distributed. Okay. That's what you have to find. So what you have to do is, total number of students going to the trip. I told you it is 210. Each student was given one orange, one banana and five biscuits. So total number of oranges, 200. Total number of biscuits for one child, Five biscuits. So for 210 children, how many biscuits? 210 into 5, that is 1050. Okay. Now 38 students refused to, to take bananas. That means 210 minus 38. Refuse means they are not taking, they don't want. So minus 38. So how many bananas are there? 172. So total number of bananas distributed? 1 into 172, that, that is 172. Is that clear? Okay. Now, after lunch time, they started talking. They started asking some puzzles and all. This question you have to write in your classwork. Okay. Write. You have to write like this. Write a number which is exactly between 150. That's how you have to write. Okay. Write a number which is exactly between 100 and, 100 and 150. Which will be the number exactly between 100 and 150? It is 125. So, here, Banu's answer. The answer. Okay. okay, now comes the next question. Another boy is asking another question. I gave four to toffees each to four of my friends and three toffees are left with me. How many toffees did I have? So here, here we have the answer. I gave four toffees each to four of my friends. So number of friends, how many friends are there? Four friends are there. Each friend was given four toffees. So how many toffees are distributed? Four fours are 16. Right. For one, for one boy, four toffees. Another boy also four. Like that, four fours you have to, that is four fours are 16. So 
so you have 16 toffees distributed now how many toffees are left with him three toffees are left with me so number of toffees left three so total number of toffees is equal to number of toffees distributed plus number of toffees left that is 16 plus 3 19 so i had how many toffees 19 so 19 toffees is the answer okay okay now comes the next question another boy is asking another person what numbers can you make using 3 5 and 7 he told two answers. You can make 357 and 537. What are those? That means using those digits. That is 3, 5 and 7. What all numbers you can say? You can arrange it in any order. First you can keep 3 first. Then you can write 357. Then you can write 3 keep 3 there itself. Don't change. 7 and 5 you can interchange. Like that you have to go up. So 357, 375. Then you keep 5 at one place. 7, 3 and 3, 7. So you will get another order then 753735 so these all these numbers you can make using the how many digits are there three digits which are three digits three five and seven so how many numbers they made one two three four five six is there any other number you can check it okay so that's all for today thank you